What's up guys? So it has been a long time since I've done the Q&A man. So that's my bad, but here we go with my next one. And before I get to the Q&A, I'm going to be uh, listing my top 5 at each position, which is an updated version from my last Q&A. A lot of guys have been asking for this position, that position, top 5 with this and that. So I'll do my top 5 offensive positions here, and then my next q and I'll do defensive positions. And before I um, list my players, I just want to make one thing very clear. Everyone on my list is people or players that I've actually played with on the field. It would not make sense for me to put someone on this list that I've never played with. It would not make sense. So if I leave somebody out on this list that you think uh, deserves to be there, it's not because I disagree. It's because I just haven't played with them yet. So here we go. For quarterback, top to bottom, is going to be Flashback Vic, uh, Team MVP Luck, Elway Rogers, and at uh, Tribute Campus uh, Payne Manning. Also, this is going to be top five, not top ten, just so you guys know. At halfback, it's going to be uh, David Johnson, Walter Payton, Dickerson, Bo Jackson, and of course Marcus Allen. At wide receiver, at number five, Wallace, then position hero Jeffrey, then playoff Vincent Jackson, Jerry Rice, and then Boss Calvin. At tight end, I've only got three players on this list because it's, there's only three tight ends that I've played with so far that are worth being in the top five, and they are Jimmy Graham, Team MVP Charles Clay, and of course Ultimate Legend Gates. I did just play with that Michael Agnew uh, Canvas Hero. But honestly, he didn't really do anything to blow me away to, you know, to be in the top five. And I didn't want to just put him in there just as default. So I know some guys have been telling me that, you know, he's great for them. He's fantastic. But honestly, just in my opinion, I didn't see anything that really blew me away. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much going to be the end of that, man. Um, fullback, you know, not many guys use fullbacks. And there's only one fullback that I've played with that is worth mentioning, which is, of course, Anthony Sherman, as you can see here. So one of the best fullbacks in the game. In my opinion, because of just the amount of pancakes he gets is ridiculous, man. That he's guaranteed to get you at least two pancakes per game, which is ridiculous. So that that's why I've kept him, you know, all this time. And as far as offensive linemen go, you know, I've said before, you know, having a great offensive line is amazing and everything. But if you're playing against someone who runs a gaps and b gaps, you know, they're just worthless. So I'm not saying to have a, you know, <laughs> believe me, I'm not saying don't invest in offensive linemen. Of course, you know, if you're gonna run the ball and whatnot, you know, you, you need good linemen, but I just don't feel the need to um, do reviews on linemen for that specific reason, you know. In my opinion, I'm just not, I'm just saying. Anyways, that's enough of that, man. Let's get to this uh, Q and A section. First question is, Abro, hey, can you review that new All Rookie David Johnson? I already have. I have an idea for a new series. Make a whole lineup, defense, offensive for certain positions for coin value, for example, like a whole receiving core for 600k. Uh, that sounds like it would take a long time to do. I'm not saying I won't do it, but I can't say that I'll be doing that anytime soon, though. Team of the Week, JJ Watt, I already have. Go check it out. What's your favorite hub section? Not sure what you mean by that. Man. Let me know what you mean by that, like, but more specific. Could you review the new 95 Combine Abdullah? Wow. This is a very old Q&A when someone says the new Combine Abdullah. That's the longest been since I've done a Q&A. Um, I can't promise that review anytime soon, bro, but... I have um, had one person tell me that, that he plays very good. You know, he's very shifty. So that's about all I can say on him. Super Bowl, Whitner versus BCA Barry. I haven't played with Whitner, but I can absolutely 100% vouch for BCA Barry. That boy is a beast. Review 96 Cooks, please. I can't review him anytime soon. I mean, I'll try to, but I have played against him twice, and he burnt me deep on both those times. Against, I, I believe it was Charles Woodson who burnt me on. So he definitely looks promising from what I can, um, from what I can see. This might be weird, but can you tutorial for using the D-line? I don't know if I'll be doing that, man. I mean, I'm sorry. You know, I've said before in the press, I don't uh, believe I'll be doing that anytime soon. That's something I don't see myself doing. Sorry, bro. So I'm sorry. Is Eric Dickerson better than Marshall Falk and Payton? I believe so. In my, in my opinion, I believe that he is better than both of those guys. You should check out the 90 Combine Irvin for a user linebacker. I did um, play against him, I believe, three times and one... And one of those times, one of my opponents was using him. That guy had great burst, you know, from going left and right. So, even though I can't, um, I don't know if I'll be re reviewing him anytime soon. I, he definitely looks also promising. 93 dress, uh, Percy Harvin. I haven't checked his um, his price in a while, but I do recall at the time he's very expensive, and I don't feel like playing or paying that high price for him. I don't. I have no idea if his price has dropped, but if he's still going for that high price, I don't see myself checking him out anytime soon though. Do you think Peyton Manning should be a running back instead of a quarterback? No, I don't think he should be a running back instead of a quarterback. What do you use to record and edit your reviews? I just use the PS4, man. Nothing special. Very simple. All rookies, uh, Stefan Diggs. Even though I don't know 
you know if i'm gonna um be reviewing him anytime soon i have played against that guy so many times especially when he was you know just came out that guy is extremely annoying to uh, play against so i can definitely vouch for him at least in terms of what i've seen when i go up against him i like your reviews but at the end of your of your reviews can you do a is he worth it actually i do do that man that's exactly what i do i say he's worth the price and i see somebody actually commented on your comments saying that i do do it so I guess, you know, maybe you don't watch the whole review or you just happen to miss it, but I definitely say whether or not if somebody is worth the price at the end of the video. Can you review Johnson right in Combine 96 overall? I don't know if I'll be doing his review. I mean, if he is who I think he is, I don't know if he's his speed. I think he's like, what, like 82 speed, I think, and that just not does not look very promising, especially this late in the game. You need to have a fast um, defensive end this late in the game, but, you know, and if you try him out, man, let me know how he plays, man. I'm definitely interested to hear how he plays. If you do check him out yourself, honors Bolden. I've been wanting to review him. I just keep putting it off for some reason, man. But I would do my best to get to it. Yo, Tino, I got position here with Jeffrey. If you want to try him, oh, I did his review. I did his review already, bro. So thanks for that, man. Uh, can you review the ultimate freeze, Devontae Freeman? I'll do my best to do that. Can you review the 99 Lynch or 97 Demarco Murray? I did the 99 Lynch, and I know I did a Demarco Murray, but I'm not sure which one it was. I I forgot what his overall is, so I definitely did a Demarco Murray review. <clears throat> keep up the good work I appreciate that bro anyways man that's gonna be the end of the Q&A bro um, like I said if you have a question for me uh, drop it in this specific Q&A right now and then on my next Q&A which should be in the next few days I will answer those questions in that video so anyways guys I'll see y'all boys later my my review for that golden ticket Collins should be out today hopefully today if not tomorrow at the latest so anyways guys don't forget to like comment subscribe I'll see y'all boys later man peace